Uh, hello, we are uh, speaking with our first developer. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, hello, I'm Peter Gang from Team Cube. And you have made the game, or, or no, I will say you are making <laughs> the game. Yes, yes. I, I was also saying not me at all. No, no I no. am not a programmer. <laughs> I mean, you have, a, you have a hand in the recipe. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to just, you know, maybe say creative director-ish role or like project management and that side of things. Uh, but we have quite a few people who are working on it. We have uh, a couple of programmers. We have Zach, uh, who uh, the, some of the other of the local developers would also know. Uh, and we have Stefan, who's also another um, Minnesota local who participates. And like they're a dynamic duo in, in terms of all these game jams. And uh, we have a few other people also on art. We have Allison. Uh, I'm looking at a list of things, <laughs> Allison and Lisa. And then we also have uh, Aurora, who's also helping with uh, creative writing and uh, story, story direction as well. Oh, interesting. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about Cube? Yeah. So with uh, Cube's original intent, like it started way back, uh, I would say last year when we did a game jam uh, involving uh, <laughs> a snowman working on platforming, uh, trying to get back home before he melted. Mm. And he had to go around. He lost all of his keys. So, of course, he has to go collect his keys. But they're on different sides of a cube. And each cube represented its own uh, season. Oh, so, cool. So, like, the summer side would make you melt faster. But the winter side was safe. So, you can kind of shift things around. And uh, people really loved the idea of that uh, game. And they were just saying, like, when is this coming out to mobile? Like, what, what, what can I download demo? And it's available out there on itch. Uh, the, the, the snowman version, I should say. But ever since then, uh, we've been kind of mulling on it, just like, this is a really cool concept. And as you saw in the video, it's becoming more like a semi-puzzle platformer, where the puzzle element is literally being able to rotate cubes and traverse the different sides of them. Moving forward with that, we're actually, we're actually kind of in this middle turning point where we're gonna probably gonna put in a little bit more action. Oh. So we're gonna, but it's uh, non, non-violent action though, as the current theme sits. Uh, the main character is gonna have like this paddle <laughs> and it's going to be like utility paddle, which has like all these different kind of gadgets that you can use to like, like uh, temporarily stun or knock away enemies and like, or put them into little like, uh, you saw there's like push puzzles and stuff like that. So you can bat things around and move them around as well. Uh, but we're going to slowly implement some of that. And then we're also going to try to build a really cool world of lore. Uh, and the, the reason that we kind of are using the name suit right now is that it's going to be kind of like, uh, tarot, and so we're going to be using the several suits down the order, uh, and kind of telling the story. Uh, that's maybe going to match this uh, the story of the fool's journey, and maybe not. We haven't quite you know decided everything quite yet, <laughs> but we're going to head in that direction for the t- for now. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you uh, still have a bit to figure out. How long have you been uh, working on this? Honestly, it's like in the seven six month range, oh. like. We did the game jam last year, but didn't actually start programming anything until like January of, of like this year. Did the game jam have a theme? Like why, why was that the game that oh, you yeah, came the, up the, with? The, the, yeah, the game jam's theme uh, was, uh, was home. Was home. That was the, that was the theme. Uh, so maybe that was actually two years ago now at this point. Um, but yeah, the, the theme was home. And... There was a, just basically a fascinate uh, Zach at the time had a huge fascination with Rubik's Cubes. And so we basically just mashed the theme onto the idea of like, oh, someone trying to get home has so much time and then just wanted to make this little Rubik's cube puzzle thing. And basically just mashed them all together and it worked out. Hey, cool. What makes you really excited about this game? Oh, the, the, the amount of wow factor that we plan to put into the game. There's going to be a lot of moments of just like, uh, as you explore the world, uh, even like the current version of the demo, there's like little secrets and stuff like that. You get like, there's no interaction, nothing that no text box, no NPCs you can talk to yet. Uh, but just by exploring the world, you find, you can find these really cool things. They're just like, Whoa, that's a really cool, like looking tree. Or there's also like this mysterious grave and like underneath inside one of the cubes that you have to like traverse and find a way and puzzle yourself into. And once you find it, you're like, whoa like what's what's with this like it's monumental a little bit and it's so unexpected and it has that wow factor and i'm like oh yes i'm so glad we can capture that element of like surprise and like curiosity 
in a game that has like no NPCs, no action, none of that yet. It's just a little fun uh, Rubik's Cube puzzle. And yet we still be able to capture these little moments. And I'm excited for it to add as much of that as possible. Uh, what do you think is one of the biggest challenges you're facing in making this game? Oh my God. Uh, I think right now it's honestly just like accepting that, accepting that there's a lot of things to work on in terms of like assets, uh, even the story is a little bit daunting too. Uh, I'm also just like everyone is. Everyone also works a full time job. Mm -hmm. uh, we're all just kind of just putting our part time, like when we can, when we have like the passion or the urge to do something creative. We basically chip away at this a little bit, and including things like this. Like I, in my in my case, uh, I love showcasing what's being worked on, and like hyping up a little bit of uh, what people can take uh, take a look and expect. And I think. The plan is that eventually we're going to be posting a little bit of an itch.io page where people can follow. And you can see our development uh, through like dev blogs on that site. And eventually we'll be able to release like a little, a little tr demo that people can download at some point. All right. uh, if someone wanted to stay up with it right now, is there like a Twitter or a website or something? Or is that, or is that <laughs> down the line? Down the line, we're, I, I was working on a website, <laughs> an itch page, again, that people could follow. But uh, if you just want to stay posted, uh, follow 2DCon and follow all like the local, um, local gaming community things. Like there's, uh, there's going to be a glitch, there's IGDA, Twin Cities chapter, and all these other different avenues that uh, I'm a part of that I, I love showcasing games. So if there's anything else, you, if you join some of those communities or if you're like, or even like follow 2DCon online because eventually we'll be at 2DCon when the game is fully ready to be released. So uh, next year, next year. Uh, Linux in the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that's Linux 3 in the chat. Uh, wanted to know uh, how, many, how many levels will, will there be? Do you have an idea? That's a, that's a tricky question. Uh, I'd say it demo wise, we'll probably do like four and then maybe long term, we'll see how long it goes because it's going to be like a really big world where like players can traverse and explore everything. Uh, I, I want to say if I had a dream, I would follow like the terror car suits and do like a level for each. Like, I don't, I don't know how many cars, I don't know how like, is it one through 12, like, like the 12, the 12 of swords, 12 of cups and those kind of things. Uh, I would love to do that, but I don't think that's in our scope because we're, we're trying to release like a small precise product. Yeah. So I don't, yeah. I, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I guess uh, stay stay tuned for uh, Cube and uh, write write it down. Write the name Cube down on a piece of paper, and every so often Google the name uh, and see if the uh, Itchio's page is up. I, again, if you f yep follow 2D Con, follow IGDA, follow Glitch, well, eventually you'll see us out there.